Lion hounds, blue tick hounds, all kinds of dogs, pound hounds, you name it. Chihuahuas, they have a chihuahua. Yeah, yeah. Afghan, yeah. <laughs> and uh, he really wants to get his hands on one of these horses to see what they're all about. Because he's very interested in all breeds of horse and animal. And uh, he'll defend a Missouri Foxtrotter to his deathbed because he hasn't found anything better. And now that I've been around the kind of horses they have and they breed and they work with, yeah. I completely understand why they feel that way. Sure. And he said they're, they're just people friendly, user friendly horses. They're bred that way. Uh huh. Really? They are attention sponges. Well, they've always been a companion dog. Yeah. And because of their size, you know, in the house. And carried, yeah. That's the way they are. They're very sweet dogs to work with. And a girl with nightmares. Yes. Self winding today. No whip needed. You know what, Kathy? Why don't we turn her loose? Yeah, I'm just thinking. Just... Oh, there's a little bit of a It was so terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Well, as long as she doesn't get on the rail, because there's a lot of places to catch it if she starts sliding her head around on the rail. We'll just. No, uh, don't make excuses, Julie. <laughs> Wally, he's in my head. <laughs> he calls Rebecca a hater, and I'm like, now what do you mean a hater? And he said she gets on the horse, and immediately she hates the reins, and she hates the stirrups oh, are gosh. too short, and the, just adjusting to what you the have. pad is crooked, and he said it's all, you know, he understands it's all from her nerves. But he just laughs and says, get over it. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's focusing on what's making you uncomfortable rather than moving on and just, just riding. And so I'd sneak in there and say, I don't like those reins either. <laughs> and he'd laugh at me. He'd laugh at both of us having a little hen party. I think maybe growing up riding on a red string and having... All kinds of Such saddles. Such a variety of saddles yeah. and tack and whatnot. You just learn to adapt. Yes. So, if I'm going to buy it for myself, I'm going to get what I want. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, but uh, it was interesting to me because he came up with that term, a hater. I wouldn't have gone that far with it. <laughs> and he, well, he, he does it in a very kind way. And she laughs. She's an amazing woman. That's a pretty smile. Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I'm seeing your, you in the whip. <laughs> I need a cookie. There's a feeder. Oh, I didn't lock the gate, but. Oh, yeah, we're just. <laughs> it's just 
been a really interesting day for us. <laughs> I am so distracted. The weather's cool. We aren't going to panic to get things done before it's 104. Yeah. Relax your neck. Uh huh. <laughs> Maybe you your want. head does go down. I've seen you eat hay. <laughs> you can't fool me. Oh, goodness. Oh, lip flapping there. That was <laughs> I saw a foreign uh, 20 horse bloopers or something. Oh, gosh. And this girl has this very, very heavy bodied hairy legged uh, like giant poem but like a gypsy banner okay. looking but he's not uh -huh. a banner and yeah, but it's European there's a lot of varieties yes <laughs> really ponies. cute yeah. and the bloopers are of him squeaking and kicking when she's out there lunging him oh. or him flapping his lips <laughs> or him standing up on a pedestal and uh hiking his hind legs up onto it. It's just really cute, sweet little things. It's a really cute video. I was laughing so hard, Bob came over and said, what are you laughing at? And I said, this horse is flapping his lips. And she caught about 20 moments of him doing it. He said, it must feel good to them. It must have some sort of a great sensation. And I said, I had a couple of lip flappers. I had a Clancy that was a famous lip flapper every feed at feed time oh. he'd hang his head over the door arch his neck beautifully and violently oh, flap his lips yeah. we were standing in the barn aisle one day and the hay we'd heard the hay cart a little cushman cart start up oh. and shane this gray horse would put his head over the door, lower it to the ground, get a big ball of slobber, <laughs> and then fling his head in the air and throw the slobber in the air. Clancy would flap his lips. Pumpkin, my walking horse, would he was self-mutilator. He'd run, grab his side and run in circles and kick the wall. Mariah, like a, special ed class, <laughs> a, a spotted saddle horse, would sit on the door, push and squeal. And then Mona, we called her Mona Faye, the retarded gray. We all had names for our horses that were Less fun the names. They weren't, they weren't mean na names for each other. We just, we made them up ourselves. And um, Mona could roll her tongue like this Ooh. and suck it wow. like she was nursing. Oh, that's interesting. Well, yeah, foals do that. That's yeah. So Mona would suck her tongue. Shane would throw slobber. Clancy flapped his whips. Mariah sat on the door and squeaked. Pumpkin grabbed his side and ran in circles. <laughs> and we were there one day and said, I think we're in an insane asylum. And then when they brought in this horse, he was like 18 hand tall, uh, three gated saddlebred, a uh -huh. lawyer owned, very nice lady. Uh -huh. He stall weaved. Oh, perfect. So he just fit right, right in. <laughs> he fit right in. And we were, I, I found out, <laughs> well, I found out when I stood in front of his stall, if I weaved opposite of him, ooh, he got mad at me. He pinned his ears and would snake his neck at me. But if you went with him, he liked it. Yeah. Having to exercise the demons. There you go. So for this um, clinic I'm trying to put together, uh -huh. uh, Melanie was thinking of bringing her Frisian, maybe, I don't know. 
she's up in like Fresno area. It's a long way for her to come. Uh, 